Right, there's a, a little rumour going around that you'd like a little review of this. Um, I picked this up yesterday. It's the Casio WS1500. And uh, there's some other letters as well, but they're not so important. It's a WS1500. And uh, this one's in brown. Um, the full title is actually the WS1500H. And actually the full model number of this one is the WS1500H. 5A VCF and um, if you're like me you probably haven't got a clue what half those letters mean but usually it's depicting the color of the strap uh, perhaps the screen and a few other sort of like bits and pieces perhaps maybe where it was made a few other odds and ends but basically the important figures here are the 1500H and the WS because this is also a 1500H, but this is an AE 1500. And they're both pretty thick, about 13 mil thick watches. Uh, lug to lug, they're about 53, 54 mil, I believe. And across the, um, the face of the watch, they're about 50 mil. I've had this one a while, I quite like it. And this one arrived yesterday and I ordered it in the Pooey Brown color. That is one big pile of shit. Which um, I don't know yet. I'm undecided. It's all right. I quite uh, I quite like it. I've been wearing it for 24 hours, and um, I had a couple of people say, "Where did you get that watch from?" I quite like it. So it's clearly catching people's eyes. It's got that kind of tough mud kind of look about it, and uh, yeah, quite striking looking. I think so. Um, the WS might mean it's for water sports, I don't know. Uh, basically, you've got this fish finding thing up the top and a moon phase. Uh, the fish timer, sorry, basically indicates high tide. So when you put in your... Um, uh, do you not put in your location? I have no idea. Well, I don't know how it knows where my nearest high tide is. I don't really care because I'm, I'm not interested. All I know is you've got this extra bit of graphic up here. That when you go into the stopwatch mode, when you go into the stopwatch mode, you get some movement. Probably can't see it. I'm not doing a very good job of filming. There we go. You get some movement, you see. So, uh, Like the old Casio Royales and the world timers, you've got this little round dial up here, which is almost impossible to read especially if you got a little bit poor eyesight like myself but that always stays on the current time um and uh, you know depending on the, the mode you got down here so you can have your yeah, world time mode you can be stop watching time in whatever this will always tell you the local time if you can actually read it of course so you've got a few modes here um let's uh, try and cycle through so we've got the the main time you then got the moon phase mode, and um, I've got to be honest, I have no idea what I'm doing here, but this number is counting up in the days beyond the current day. And as you can see, the moon, the moon picture here is changing. So you can see when indeed the next full moon is. So when all the black bars are gone, that means it's a full moon. So yeah, interesting or not, it's entirely up to you. Uh, then you're uh, then you're onto the stopwatch. Don't need to show you how the stopwatch works. And then you have a timer. Uh, finally, here we have ooh, we have uh, five alarms like you do on the other one. Um, I'm not going to show you how to set those alarms here. If you want to know, let me know. Um, but you've got five alarms and you can set them as daily. You can even set like a monthly alarm. And um, don't get me started on that. I do not see the point in a monthly alarm on a watch. But there we go. And uh, then you've got your dual time, so you can just sort of like pick a, another time zone. And then back to the start. Uh, again, like I said, he's quite a, he's quite a chunky watch. It's about 13 mil by 54 by about 50 something. On my seven and a bit inch wrist, seven and a half inch wrist, I think I am. I think it just about just about works. <laughs> Let me know below if you uh, have any questions.